hey what's up so there is this question called matrix even some so um the description is fine so after becoming famous the code bots decided to move into a new building together uh, each of the rooms has different cost and some of them are free but there is uh, a rumor uh, that all the free rooms are hunted since the code bots are required superstitious they are refused to stay uh, in any of the free rooms or any of the rooms below any of the free rooms so given a matrix of rectangular matrix of integers uh, where each value represents the cost of the room your task is to retain the total sum of all the rooms that are suitable for the code blocks basically all of this you can <laughs> you can ignore all of this and just read this line and you will know what uh, you will need to do so add up all the values that don't appear below zero so for example in this case uh, or in, yeah in this case uh, or in all cases in all cases sorry you need to uh, look for the columns so we have here four columns so this one uh, starts with zero so, so I will ignore everything below it right that's that's what what this line says I add up all the values that don't appear below a zero so this this column starts with a zero so I will ignore everything below it I don't care this column uh, has one it does not uh, appear below zero so I'll add that, this to the sum now add five to the sum we have six it's zero we don't care so this add one to the sum so now the sum is seven we found zero, so we don't care about the rest of this column. And now we find two, so seven plus two is nine. And we found zero, so we will stop. So that's why the answer is nine. And here they have uh, like, uh, uh, like a diagram or chart, or, uh, a draw, a drawing, sorry. So as you can see, this uh, will might be hunted, so we will ignore everything below it. Uh, these two are fine, this one is fine, but anything below it, or uh, below this, uh, this empty room is not fine, so we'll ignore this three. Uh, the same thing applies here. So if you think about it, uh, I will solve it first in very, in very long approach, and uh, just to show you how to convert um, rows or, or, or how to find columns in two-dimensional arrays in Python. So first thing, let's find uh, the, how many rows we have. So rows length will be equal to the length of the matrix. So this will return in this case three. So we have three rows as you can see. Now to get the columns length, we will sorry, we will get uh, the length of the matrix that of any index we have. We will go always with the index zero because it's always here. So the length of the first row is four. This is how many columns we have. Now, uh, what I will do, I will loop uh, through the columns, if you think about it. So, uh, for each uh, row, I will go, or you can say for each row, I will go, so I have this first row, and we have four rows. So, for each row, I will go and look to the first element for each row. Okay, so for each column, we have four columns. So I'll move from zero to three, right? Because it's zero best. And for each index, I will go through all of its rows. That's what. That's how I will convert column. I will, that's how I will get uh, the columns from this matrix. So starting from column number zero, I will go to row number zero and get this. Now I will go to. I will stay on the column zero and go to row number one and get this. Now I'll stay on the column zero and go to row number three and get this. Which means it's two because it's uh, zero best. And that's it. And I will continue doing this until I get all the rows, all the columns. So I'll just show you. So for each, I'll call it C. I'll call it uh, yeah, C and uh, range, the column's length. Now for for each uh, R in range was length. I'll define an array here called col. Uh, and uh, I'll define before the loops a columns array which will hold, which will have all the columns. So this list here, I will add each number to it. And this will be, um, one second. 
So all good append matrix and to get the current element in the current column we are looking for we will start from the row and get uh, the number of find and get that uh, value in that specific column right uh, that's basically it now let's after the second loop let's append this to the columns let's append this column to the columns i think the indentation is wrong and let's just print these columns i'll just show you that i converted this into uh, or i just extracted the columns for each uh, for each uh all, all for the matrix uh, yeah sorry everything is bad sorry my bad And now it's fine. Uh, so, as you can see, the first column is 0, 0, 002. This is it. The second column is 150. This is it. Now 103 and 203. So, what we can do now is just to loop over the array or, uh, or the columns, array of columns. So, for each array and calls I will loop now for each number in array if we found a zero we will just break else or without else we will just uh, add to the sum uh, the current element or the current cost you can say we'll just start with zero just return us at the end and that's it I will just make it now short. I think you can make it really shorter, but I will make it short uh, for maybe, I mean, I will make it shorter, okay? So it's correct. Now to make it shorter, we don't need to do this here. We can do it uh, just, just here one time. So I will move this, and I will move this columns are there. And I will make my condition work on this element. So if this element is equal to zero, I will break the second loop or uh, else I will or not else uh, by default I'll just sum it to oops I'll just sum it I, I submit the question by mistake and remove these and this here and we can actually make it even shorter by putting these uh, here I don't know. You don't need this line. I'm pretty sure if you look into the solution, you will find someone who do it with one line, but um, I think this is better, more readable. So now, run test. Uh, N is that defined? Yeah, so. So it's correct. So yeah, thank you.